Hey everybody, it's Big Mayonnaise, back on the sandwich. If you guys are new to the channel, hit subscribe. In the meantime here, I, uh, 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 Molly Buttons said that she was, uh, trying to get a hold of me here. <laughs> this is the berries. I ain't got this many fights in, in ages. What? You don't do a lot of fighting for the mob? Ah, they're all wet. Always giving me an earful. Shooting up the place is bad for business, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Molly's moxie increases by one. Ooh, nice. So, last time we had just cleared out the distillery here, Grandpa Joe's distillery, and I think we got everything. We are still in need of some more hobo writing, though. We need one more hobo code knowledge. Right? Right! So, what I would like to do here, I want to knock out some of the wandering things. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to start going to all these different places. So, we're going to go to the fairy lair first. Because I'd love to get rid of those fairies. The stench of death hangs heavily from the trees in this glade, but this is curious. On the forest floor, a handful of standing stones is displaced, scattered with no regard to order. Hmm, arrange those stones. With the stones arranged in the pattern of a thumbs up, the trees are visibly rejuvenated. Okay. <laughs> oh, good thing those trees are happy. Ah, look at all these fairies. Fairies put up their tiny dukes as you approach. Put up thine dukes, motherfucker! You tried to duke the Duke of Duking, and what happened? You got your cheeks clapped by Brian Butt Cheeks Mayonnaise. <laughs> I need to workshop that. You showed those fairies who's bigger and tougher than a fairy. I got the fairy skull wand, which I think is the same thing I got, right? Fairy knife. Um, yeah, I think that's all like the same stuff I got. Let's just double. I mean, I'm cool to double check real quick here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the same stuff. Hey, at least I got an extra. Ooh, we got a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close it. Place the jaws of the pliers around the little hole and wrench them closed. Apply them closed. Oh, it's the same thing as last time. This mess of twigs and sap is a fairy's nest. Reach inside. Fumble blindly in the nest and find a knife. You pull the knife out <laughs> of your hand flush and stick it in your pocket. <laughs> oh, I had somebody I worked with did that once. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, maybe I should talk to her, because she was talking about, uh... No, never mind. She doesn't have anything interesting to say. Alright, come on, fairies! This one's name is the Fairy Gun Mother. I should start reading some of these. <laughs> Man, I'm just absolutely sweeping these guys. <laughs> Access to that undoubtedly wonderful nest is now yours! Fairy knife, fairy cake. Oh, to a fairy, this is a huge birthday cake. To you, it's a grisly reminder that you killed a fairy on its birthday. <laughs> Uh, increase your mystical by one. Damage of your magical up attacks by two. Okay, that's pretty nice. I'm <laughs> vibrating with nest-related excitement. Ooh, another nest. Oh, it's full of rocks! We got powerful grit, impenetrable shellac. Some shellac comes from insects, but if you don't- But if you don't know that, it can come from basically anywhere. <laughs> okay. You extract all the useful compound components. The unsinkable molly buttons. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to her. No, why can't I- there we go. Huh, there's a lot of fairies guarding that nest. Must be something really good inside. Whoa. Jesus. What is going on? Jesus. <laughs> hey, like shooting fairies in a barrel, huh? Yeah, get out of here, Molly. I'll pick you up off the floor in a minute. Once I'm done doing my job. Alright, alright, alright. 27 spooky damage. Wish I would have read that if I'd have known that I didn't even have to care who I was fighting. Pick through the pile of those loose fairy wings and limbs to see if the fairy's anything worth taking. Got a fairy star wand. This tiny wand is tipped with a star made of solid gold. Don't get too excited though because it's only like a tenth of an ounce. <laughs> Deals your mysticality plus three physical damage and reduce the target's mysticality by two. That's awesome. Uh, fairy cake, fairy knife, and 10 XP. That is an amazing weapon. Because what does mine do? Mine does three mist or mysticality plus three spooky damage. Alright, where were we now? This better be worth it. Reach inside and see. Hey, a ring! One of the fairies was probably using it as a crown. You got an item. Mood ring. <laughs> the kind of mood rings you're thinking of haven't been invented yet, and you're not sure how that makes you feel. <laughs> Probably makes you feel a different way every time you walk into a new room. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is more of a gimmicky thing. Yeah, I'd like to... 
I'd like to use it, but at the same time... The ring- the brain coral ring is so OP. <laughs> Let's go to Beppo's hole. Ah, nuts, hold the line. I stepped in some kind of weird mushrooms. Ah, oh, I got more fragrance spores. Okay. Yeah, more mushroom cocaine. There aren't as many spiders in here as there could be, but there's still too many. <laughs> you swore long ago you'd never deliberately walk into an impenetrable mass of spider webs. Ah, rats. Oh. The plaque says Beppo's Hole at the top, and then there's some fine print. Beppo's Hole is named after Beppo P. Sericcio, who purchased this plot of land in 1903 with the stated intention of creating a shark sanctuary. <laughs> he managed to dig one decent-sized pit, but before he could fill it with sharks, it filled itself up with spiders, or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that the spiders filled it up with themselves, and their offspring, their teeming hordes of awful and venomous offspring. It is the opinion of Crystal Dream Lake Historical Society that Beppo's Hole should be avoided at all costs. In fact, we probably shouldn't have to put this placard here, or in included it on any of our maps. May those you leave behind forgive us. Fascinating. Well, I know what I'm doing today. Ooh. The wriggling cocoon is roughly a person size, so it's either a person who's been cocooned by a spider and is slowly suffocating to death, or a person-sized mass of baby spiders. Talk to him slash her. Slash them. Oh, um, how inclusive. Uh, hello there! Mm. Are you a person or mind-breaking quantity of baby spiders? Mm. Is that the kind of noise a whole lot of baby spiders would make? Mm. Cut them sp cut them free. Cut apart the cocoon, bracing yourself for true horror. Fortunately, it turns out to just be a guy in there. Woo! Thanks, friend! You had me worried there for a second. They called me Doc. I came here to get some free gauze. Got a bit more than I bargained for. Uh, hi, Doc. I'm Mayo. I assume from your doctor hat thing that you're literally a doctor? In the sense that doctoring is my profession? Yes. In the sense that I have a legal license for practicing it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell him about- oh, ask him about hobo code. Oh, sure, I can teach him a hobo code for all kinds of medical terms. I teach him the hobo code, ask about something else. Tell him about the hobo camp. Uh, there's hobo camp just outside of Ocean City. Could try to use a doctor. Great! I can do some patience. <laughs> Cause I'm much too eager to get to doctoring. That's a joke that works better out loud than in print. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, see you there. Okay, bye. <laughs> nice, 15 XP, huh? Alright, well. There are definitely a lot of spiders in this hole. Jump in and fight some. Whoa! Ugh. Mm, I don't like it here. And there it is. 27 damage. God, I love that brain coral ring. There are now slightly fewer spiders in Beppo's hole. You got an item. Spider Fang. Ooh, Moxie plus two. Eh. If you think about it, a bite with a big enough teeth counts as a bunch of stabbings. <laughs> uh, spider eggs. A handful of pulsating, slimy, greenish white orbs. You refuse to believe that even a mother spider could have an affinity for these things. It makes you immune to poison. So eat some. Eat? These are food? Oh, fewer spiders is better, spiders. Ugh. Back to work. And another one down. Uh, same stuff. Frankly, the turtle got a little stronger, got a little more XP. Actually, I did... I want to get this Pecorino brav Bravado. It says I can constantly damage enemies, and I get plus one muscle. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, that's a lot of spiders. Ooh, I like! And get him, Molly! <laughs> well, too easy. Ooh, spider like one. Deals your mystical plus two physical damage and causing two poison. I don't think that's as good. I'll have to check. Oh, spider venom sack. This is the organ that spiders use to keep their poison. The organ they use to play their hymns is kept in another spider cathedral. Oh, <laughs> the organ. Gotcha. <laughs> I like the instrument. Creepy. Cre <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I thought that was a perk I got. <laughs> creepy forest fetish. <laughs> a creepy little sculpture made of twigs held together with throbbing and evil magic. Ah, plus three spell damage to a hat. Ooh. Your spiders is better than no spiders. Okay, so I will say I did regret putting the comfy padding into my fedora here. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this uh, forest fetish thing. 
I'm gonna wait till a later game hat before I- I put that in there. Cleared out the spiders for now, there will probably be more spiders if you come back on a different day. Okay, cool. I do like that there's a little bit of farming aspect to all this. We'll wander for just a second here. You happen upon a small rest stop kind of area. <clears throat> you happen upon a small rest stop area just off the path with a, tr with a rickety old picnic bench and a square brick bunker that is presumably a public toilet. Although, a sign on the door says, out of order, and the sounds of flies buzzing around inside doesn't incline you to st to tour... Doesn't incline you toward- <clears throat> doesn't incline you toward testing that claim. There's also a meat-operated blue cola cooler, which sells a couple cans of soda in it. Although judging by the rust, it doesn't look like it- to actually have cooled anything in a while. Got some cola. Blue cola! A can of blue cola! It's the patriotic thing to drink. Procra procra pro proclaims the label. Increases your maximum AP by one, so use another potion. Hmm. Check the meat return slot. Meat return slot is empty. Damn. Uh, buy a soda? Um, guess I'm good, right? Because if it's just going to be the same soda, I don't know if I necessarily want that. Off the side of the dirt road, you see a little trail of mushrooms. You follow for a while and find that it leads to a cave whose mouth has been choked by mushrooms. Those things are bad for you. Unlock Mushroom Cave. Let's check out the cave. <clears throat> I do love me some mushy boys. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that they're pulsing. But, with that being said, I'm gonna leave it right here for today, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna have a bunch more Shadows Over Loathing coming out. I'm gonna do a full playthrough of this game. I'm gonna do every last drop of content I can from this series. So thank you, so thank you guys so much for joining the ride. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.